What's going on everybody? It's Dave back with AlexFergus.com with another video for you. Here's a fun fact to start off today's video. Over 2,000 years ago in ancient Greece, over the entrance to the Oracle of Delphi was the inscription, Know Thyself. Even thousands of years ago, the Greeks knew how important it was to know yourself. Why am I bringing that up? Well, today we're going to be talking about a testing and diagnostic service called letsgetchecked.com. Letsgetchecked.com offers a wide array of diagnostic blood tests that you can do in the comfort of your own home. Now, for a lot of people, getting a blood test is something that you have to go to your doctor and convince them that you need a test done and then pay lots and lots of money and fight with an insurance company. But letsgetchecked.com is sending kits out that let you do a finger prick, collect the blood, send it off to a lab, wait for processing, and then review your results. So is Let's Get Checked something that might be interesting to you and might be worthwhile looking into? Well, I went ahead and I got a diagnostic kit. I took the test, mailed it back, got the results. So in this video, we're going to go over what the testing involves, what the collection process looks like, then come back and talk about the results and wrap it up with some pros, some cons, to find out if letsgetcheck.com might be a service that you might be interested in looking into to find out more about yourself. Stay tuned. All right, so this is what the kit looks like when it arrives in the mail. So let's open it up and take a look at what you're getting inside. Okay, so there's going to be some information on the lid here. Um, it's telling you what kind of test you're taking. I'm taking the male hormone advanced. It's got a serial number for your activation um, and a barcode there. You, you need to put in your sample collection date and your birth date, looks like. Okay, all right, there's a, some instructions here. And okay, what's this guy? Oh, it's a little card that you can, let me see, uh, keep these details. It'll help you keep track of your sample. Okay, so it matches the code and numerical code there. Got it. Okay. So activate your kit before testing. Okay. All right. Well, we'll go do that in a second, but I just wanted to go over the interior of the box here and about what, what's inside. So first you activate it, then fill the details in the lid. Collect your sample in the morning. It's 7.30 in the morning here right now. Send back immediately. Okay, it looks like that is the sample collection. But let's take a look at the instructions a little bit here. Okay, so it looks like I need to wash my hands. I'm going to use this finger here. I'm going to remove a cap from one of the lancets. Wipe with alcohol, stab myself with the lancet, gentle poke if you will. Then I'm going to massage my finger and fill the sample collection tube and put it in the mailing ad envelope. That looks fairly straightforward. Okay, so I'm going to go and go on their website and activate my kit. And then we'll come back and I'll wash my hands and collect my sample. Okay, I have now washed my hands. I got some wonderful mango dragon fruit organic soap. Man, that stuff smells so good. It reminds me of the island of Kauai. If you ever get a chance to go to Kauai, uh, drive out to Hanalei and keep going past it and out to, towards Tunnels Beach and you might find a guy out there that uh, is whacking open coconuts in the back of a truck so you can drink out of them. Anyway, so I got my hands washed and the next step is I'm going to have to use one of these lancets prick my finger and fill the tube. So first let's get a lancet out. And it looks like there's some... I'll get rid of one out for now. And it looks like we've got some stero wipes, a little band-aid, that's nice. So there's the alcohol swab. Alcohol free cleansing wipes. Well, you know, I'm okay using alcohol this morning. So I will go ahead and use the alcohol on my little guy here. Okay, I'm going to use my ring finger. Get it all nice and ready to go. 
Okay, so let's take this lancet. Actually, you know what I should have done? I should have opened this collection tube first. I don't want to... Okay, let's get the collection tube. I'm actually using the insert from the box to keep it standing upright. Okay. All right. Okay. I've got my lancet. It looks like you just twist the top off. Okay. And then you just push down. Here we go. And the meaty part of my finger. Okay. Filling. The tube. Looks like one more drop is all I need. Yep. Okay, well, I'm going to go clean up my hand, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I've used the handy-dandy little uh, Band-Aid that they included, so I am going to now... Oh, I'm going to spill that. That would be been bad. Seal up my sample. Oh, man. I think it just... There you go, it's just a pressure fit. But as you can see, I definitely filled that guy up, giving him enough blood all the way to the 600 line. Right, oh, come on, there we go, line there. Okay, now I am going to put my specimen in the biohazard specimen transport bag. I guess I just peel this. Fold that over like so. So I've got the sample in the sample bag. According to the instructions now, I just wanted to double check on this. It says seal your samples in the biohazard bag and then place the bag in the test box and return in the supplied envelope. That makes sense. So we're just going to put the biohazard bag into the box, like that. Oh, and I already did fill in the lid details, so that's already been done with my birth date and, to, and today's date. And we're just going to put the box into the bag. So they thought of everything. This bag is perfectly sized for this box. And seal it up and drop it in the mail. I'll be uh, dropping that off this afternoon since it's a Saturday where I'm at right now. And there is mail service today. So that's basically the entire collection process for the Let's Get Checked health and wellness tests. Like I said, it took only about five minutes. The only problem I ran into was trying to get enough blood out of my finger while standing behind a camera. But for everybody else, I don't think it should be a problem at all. It's uh, certainly a lot less nerve-wracking than getting poked with a big needle by a phlebotomist or a nurse at a doctor's office. So can't wait to see what the results on these guys are. Um, hopefully it's only a couple of days after they get it, so I'm guessing three to five days for them to get it, three or four days for them to run the tests, and uh, then we'll take a look at the results. So thanks. Okay, so here we are at the dashboard, and we're just going to take a look here at some of my test results. So scrolling down here, you see that I don't have any active tests, and my overall health, those are the questions that I asked, uh, that were asked when I signed up. So you can see I'm a non-smoker, I don't drink, uh, my blood pressure, all that, I don't have anything connected there. So here's my male hormone advanced test results. My testosterone appears normal. Um, so that's that's good. My uh, SHBG or sex hormone binding globulin was a little bit high. Uh, my free androgen index is normal um, in the green there, and my prolactin was a little bit high. You can see it's just barely over the normal range. And then um, next up is going to be my uh, 
oestradiol or estrogen levels, and those are normal. Um, those are in the green. So uh, that's the re how you see your results there. Uh, wearable integration. If I had a Garmin, um, I'd be able to connect it, but I don't. Uh, I guess they're going to be integrating Fitbit and uh, Apple Watch. Uh, online store is where you can go and order more. Uh, you can also speak to a nurse. Let's take a look at the online store here. And uh, so let's take a look at the different types of tests that are available. So you got sexual, women's, men's, and wellness. Let's take a look at wellness here. Okay, look at all the different types of tests you have. I'm actually kind of interested in the C-reactive protein, which uh, is an inflammation marker. It's a finger prick method. And let's see here. So there you can see there's a lot of information about how to take it. Um, and let's see, the price there is $69. That's really not a bad price at all to find out about inflammation markers. So that's a, I'm pretty, uh, pretty impressed with that. Um, let's see here. Let's go uh, to my account back there and take a look uh, back to where we started here okay so if you have a test you'd activate it right there at the top but uh, yeah as you can see my overall health record um, these are questions like I said that you answer um, when you uh, first create your account and uh, you can create your account before you actually register the kit I went ahead and actually created my account while the kit was being shipped to me and uh, like I said there's always that button down there where you can speak to a nurse so let's go back to the main home page. Um, so as you can see, uh, they've got a whole bunch of different t types of tests here. And that's exactly what the kit looked like when I got it in the mail. Absolutely 100%. Yep. Um, so yeah, you can uh, take multiple tests and then track your information over time. Um, and it uh, looks like they've got, wow, 184,000 tests performed. Hmm. Huh. And they're partnered with CVS and Walmart. I did not know that. I learned something today. So, yep, there you go. That is pretty much um, how you receive your results from the letsgetcheck.com test. Okay, so we've taken a look at the collection process for the letsgetcheck.com tests. And we've taken a look at the web-based interface and how you receive your results after you have the phone consultation with one of the nurses from letsgetcheck.com. So what are some pros, what are some cons with this Let's Get Check service? Well, I think one of, the, one of the pros has to be the convenience factor. I mean, you order the test online and you take the test on your own time in the comfort of your own house. Now, for example, me, I had to take the male uh, hormone advance test first thing in the morning to get the most accurate results which meant that I could take that test on a Saturday morning in my pajamas, which I actually admit to doing. I was actually in my pajamas. So that's a huge convenience factor for me personally. Um, you don't have to make an appointment with a doctor's office, go in and see a doctor, convince a doctor that you need to have a test done, you know, and then possibly set up a second, a second appointment to come back and get the blood drawn if they can't do it that day. So you're not taking time off of work, you're doing it on your own time. So I think the convenience factor is definitely something that letsgetcheck.com has going for it. Um, I think the price is also another um, pro. Uh, a lot of the tests are very reasonable. They're all, most of them are all under $100. I think the C-reactive protein test we looked at was, I think, uh, $69, which is pretty good. Um, considering that, you know, a lot of these blood type tests can run, you know, hundreds and hundreds of dollars from a diagnostic service like Quest Diagnostics. So price is definitely a pro. Um, I think that the, uh, the kit and the instructions that come in the kit are very clear, fairly easy for me to figure out what I was supposed to do and how to do it. Um, the dashboard that the site has as well, uh, it's very clear and you can see your results. They're just right there. I think that's also another pro. You know, after you get your, um, your consultation call from the nurse, you, your results are instantly available through their web-based web dashboard, and they're clear as bell. I mean, you, you can't miss them, and they're just right there. So that's another pro. And I think the interpretation factor, you know, that whole uh, phone call consultation that you have to receive prior to viewing your results is another pro. Because, you know, a lot of folks might just, 
see results, jump onto Google and try and self-diagnose themselves and think they're dying or something. So having somebody call you up and say, hey, here's your results, let's go over them, you know, ask you some questions and, you know, recommend, hey, you might want to see a doctor or, you know, these results aren't atypical, you know, considering, you know, you didn't sleep well last night or you've been sick or you've been under a lot of stress. So, you know, you might maybe want to talk to a doctor, you know, so I think having the interpretation factor is, is, you know, a really positive thing that they've got going for them. So what are some cons? I think the collection method uh, can be a little tricky for some people the first time. As you saw from my experience, it wasn't exactly the easiest thing in the, in the world to get that much blood out of a finger prick. Um, I did figure it out, and I think if I had to do it again, I would probably be a lot faster and more efficient at doing it. And I think people that might be a little squeamish about blood might have a little more problems than just, you know, than other folks than versus going to a doctor and having a blood draw. I think the wait time might also be a con, although it's not really anybody's fault. I mean, the lab is in England, and the shipping times on top of the processing times you know, you can take, you know, seven to ten days for you to get your results. So while I don't think it's really anybody's fault, it's something you should be made aware of, that if you do order one of these tests, your results aren't going to show up probably for seven to ten days. And the only other con that I can think of is there isn't a clear and easy way to export your results as a report out of the web interface. Uh, if you want to take your results and share them with your doctor, you have to basically take screenshots. Uh, I would like to see uh, some sort of share button that you can export them out and maybe as a PDF, um, which would be fairly easy to implement, I would think, um, on a website. So there isn't a way to cleanly and easily share the results of your tests out of the website. So that's really the only other con I have. So you know, is letsgetcheck.com, you know, uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. Well, you know, I really don't like to give a hard yes or a hard no. So in my opinion, if you're somebody that likes to know more about themselves, if you're curious about maybe some of your hormone levels, your, um, your reactive C-reactive protein levels, your cholesterol, um, there's also a whole wide range of STD testing available as well. If you're somebody that wants to know and keep tabs of all of those biological markers and take charge of your own biology, I think Let's Get Checked is definitely a good viable option for home-based collection testing. A lot of other services that I've seen require you to order a kit online, which really isn't much of a kit, it's more of a voucher to go to Quest Diagnostic locations, have a blood draw there, and then get your results, which means that you're still taking time off of work or out of your normal busy schedule to go someplace and get a, a blood draw done. Now, if you don't want to do that and you want to do it at home, Let'sGetCheck.com seems like a really good viable option. There are some downsides like I mentioned, but overall I think it's a really great service and I might actually do another test or two myself down the road just to see where I'm at and make sure that uh, things are going the way they're supposed to be going. So, with that said, my name's Dave with AlexFergus.com. I hope you're having a wonderful day out there. Till next time, see you around.